Okay. After the highly vetted. Highly yeah. vetted. I'm, I'm really, I'm really sorry. I had some serious problems with my, my computer. Uh, oh, and and so I had versions that got lost and versions that oh, popped up. And oh, geez. Stuff like that. Correction, you did. Yeah, I made that correction. Then yep. Set it out. Disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that I finally was, got the thing set. It was a real hassle. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for doing it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank, you thank you so much. Well, thank you for sticking like that to out. Right. First time, <laughs> not the second time. Yeah. And not throwing the computer out the window. <laughs> <one. laughs> That's usually what we just saying. I didn't do that. So, yeah. <laughs> Motion yeah. to approve. Yeah. Uh, second. Uh, any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. So approve the minutes. In November. Yeah. Tim, Tim was ready with a dagger. <laughs> All right. How dare you disapprove? No, 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 no. no, no. Um, okay, so um, I guess I'll. Editors. Yeah. Uh, CPC review. Um, we had a meeting um, last week, twelve one, and uh, I can kind of give you guys a little summation. Um, we got uh, we reviewed three projects that moved on to their like initial level. Um, one was the, the CSO Wells Street. The second one was the Franklin County um, Agricultural Society. And the third was a drinking fountain at Highland uh, Park. So that they're gonna add one or fix the one that's there or what? Well, I, um, I didn't know that one was still there. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. sure, let's talk about that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that, I just curious. No, it is curious. Um, so yeah, so the Greenfield Tennis Association um, is, is seeking to replace the water fountain that's out the tennis courts, the clay courts. Mm -hmm. Oh, I Most know of that. which I people that. don't yeah. know about, uh, yeah. Yeah. which was one of my points that yeah. I made. Yeah, anyway, but, but the plan is to, is to do that, to increase the flow or whatever. And we were like, yeah, that sounds great. Like, $30,000. He's like, oh, what? I that's know. what I said. I said, listen, I said, well, I said, you know, I love the clay courts. I think it's yeah. a real gem that Greenfield has these, yeah. et cetera. But I would wonder how I personally never seen them. And I go there often. And every, a bunch of the people in the room said, yeah, we go there all the time. And I never seen them before. And so I said, well, how many people is going to be served? But I mean, it's not that they don't have them. They do have them. They're just kind of a little less flow. And I was like, geez. Uh, so then we got into a, a very prolonged discussion about that. Well, maybe you could put them in a place where they're more visible. So everybody that goes to the park to walk their dogs can see the water fountains. And, you know, we need to hear that. And then I also mentioned to the guy, um, I said, well, you know, maybe it would be a, uh, an act of good faith if the folks from the tennis association, like, chipped in five bucks each. Because they're the ones that use it or something. So they can say, you make a gesture of, of commitment from the people that are mostly being served by it because sure. at the end of the day if I had to take a survey of all the water fountains in town and which ones gets used by the most number of people you know I don't know it's a whole other staff yeah. yeah and then another thing is like if they say they approve to do that they're the ones who are pushing the project forward sure but it's really a town project and the, the town we're paying. So they're going to yeah. have tear, sounds like they're going to have tear a whole line out, put a new line. That's exactly what they're going to do. From the nearest yeah. water. You know, and, it, and um, yeah. because it's a town project, you know, it goes out to the bidding and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And by the time the project comes around to be done, the cost could change. And then who's going to pay for that? And, well, you know, it, it becomes a whole other We thing. have nothing to do with that. No. I'm just curious. I'm sorry to open up the can. What, what's the no. Agriculture Society project? Um, that's so the, that was the, the barn re rehabilitation, yeah, okay. and um, that one I know we talked about. Yeah. Um, right. And uh, they're going to they're going to provide a little bit more information. But he was there and spoke about his project and um, had a lot of detail about the the cow yeah. barn. They want to uh -huh. they want to do the roofs and do some electrical work and all that kind of stuff. And and we kind of mentioned them regarding the water fountain because it's like a hundred and sixty thousand dollar project. But they're only asking for eighty because they're going to raise the other eighty. Right. So it's kind of like, oh, okay, well, that's kind of nice. Um, I'm sorry. No, no. Open that up. No, it was it was. Yeah. It was leverage. interesting. It leverages more. And then the yeah. the third one was the CSO, the Well Street Shelter expansion. Um, 
which is $23 million project. Um, and I guess my, that, what I thought was kind of ironic is if we, if we have, we have $972,000 about it to give out. And this year, that's what you have? Yeah. Wow. Well, well, no, that's how much, that's the, if we gave all the money out to all these people, that's what it would be. That, right. right. I didn't think you had 900. Right. We right. Did, right. <laughs> we did, yeah. You're a 300. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So, so, yeah. so, right. Exactly. So then, so for the, the, the CSO project on Well Street is looking at, they're, they're asking for $100,000. And then I'm like, well, Jesus. What's up? I mean, to you, one hundred thousand dollars is kind of like a nickel in a jar here, right? But, but one hundred thousand dollars, we could fund almost all the other projects combined. Yeah. Why do you? Why do you need really do you need a hundred thousand? Yeah. They don't have a good answer for that. Um, except I think that they want Greenfield to have some skin in the game. I think was what they said. Yeah. 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 But you know, that's a third of our of our money just for that, and it's only just so that way they can kind of check a box. That place is really cheap. What's there now? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's one thing. But they're they're going to raise that other building. I mean, you saw the pictures yeah, of the paper. It's a massive project. It's going to take years. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Um, Plus, they're going to have sixty-three. Plus, they're going to have uh, sixty-three units in, in Wilson. Yeah, I think that's so. the one. It's the one that goes back off the street. And yeah, across from yeah. The, the mill house, yeah. and it goes back. Yeah. It's been lots of things. Yeah, right. yeah I guess lots of stuff. Yeah. Right. And then, then there's a house, that me. and then there's a warehouse, which I believe was a Miller's Falls, just a warehouse, just a dry storage warehouse, and it's it's got like two levels. Oh, it's they're not, taking those properties. That's too. the back. No, I think yeah. In the picture and in the plan that I saw, they're, the house is going to remain. Uh -huh. But they're going to kind of wrap around that. They're going to take that warehouse down, the one that's kind of right behind whatever. So they're going to take it down so that whole thing will be like a campus. You know, it's going to go all the way around. It's going to have uh, egress out, Conway Street. I mean, it looks snazzy as heck, sure. Yeah. You know, and it's not just housing and stuff. Whatever. It's a huge project. But uh, anyway. So it would have big impact. It would have a big impact. And, and, you know, obviously affordable housing. Badly needed. Badly, badly needed. It's badly needed. needed. Incredibly um, badly needed. But uh, what else on there? Um, out of all the projects currently right now, there's 14. 80 percent of them are recreation related. Mm. So yeah. it's kind of interesting. It's interesting, yeah. yeah. Um, so not a, not a lot in terms of us. I mean, I think that there's a um, a little bit of uh, clarification. So like last meeting we. We kind of we talked about those projects that has uh, about the historic um, whether they were sig significantly historic mm -hmm. and whether we supported that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not really voting for the project. We're just really no. uh, substantiating that's right. the the claim their their credibility. So you know, right. I mean, that's a, just a mm -hmm. little right. clarity on that. Uh, so when are the others being reviewed? Is as the, just in the order that they come in. Uh-huh. Yeah. They were all due November 30th. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you one there. yeah. Okay. And then the and then the of course the CSL one is like yeah. came out of kind of time, sort of came out of nowhere, but um But there'll be like three meetings or something. Yeah, it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough. We have a meeting like mm, next week. It's gonna be kind of a, <laughs> a bummer. But because we have to work, the goal was to try to do three or four every round and try to get them done. Because then you got to go back to the people, like the fountain guys, for example. Yeah. We kind of said, well, yeah, we gave them a bunch of feedback. You mean you'd see them twice? You know, and we, mm -hmm. you know, so let's look at this, let's look at that. Maybe you could put it somewhere else and, and, and kind of get some, they could come back and revise it a little bit. I mean, that's where those courts, you're talking about the Highland Park courts, right? Correct. Yeah, so the they're right there at the entrance to the trails. So right. it would be it would be useful if that fountain was somewhere where people who were yeah. walking to the trails could use it, give it to their dog. And, Correct. And all that it seems stuff. like a... Yeah. Right. And I said, right. So I said to the guy, yeah. instead of being back way, yeah. I said, so I said to the guy, I said, this dude could be a huge win for the Greenfield Tennis Association, yeah. who, who now is, is spearheading this project that... Creates water that's accessible for walkers and hikers and runners. And, and those trails across the country well used. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. 
Well, there was, two, there was two fountains. There was one right by the court, yeah. uh, right by the gates, right. and then uh, down by the pond, there was one that was set back uh, a ways. Oh, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, it, uh, you yeah. could almost dive in, the, uh, uh, <laughs> dive in the water to get out and get a, uh, get a drink of water. Uh, I did water say, that was good. Yeah. I did right. I, well, I did suggest Doug. You might appreciate this. That the, what they should do is to uh, kill two birds with one stone, and they want to restore the ice skating rink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dredge the pond. Put put a solar powered pump to pump the water for the fountain. Yeah. It's oh, like God. a win 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 win. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Don't, don't but maybe aerate that well, water a little bit so it would, that's would kill the fish. I mean, that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. There is a proposal. Yeah, yeah, there, there is. Because, the water. because yeah. they, if you remember, over the years, what they've done is they had the skating rink. Then they decided it was too deep, so they filled in the pond because it was dangerous. If, you, if the pond was too yeah. deep, somebody would fall through the ice. Yeah. So they put, they made the, the pond shallower, and mm -hmm. that killed all the fish. So then they mm -hmm. said, well, now we have to dredge because they, have, I mean, they've gone over and over, <laughs> yeah. back and forward, and back and, and forth that's with, the, that, with that that whole area. That's that, part of the problem. You know, with and, and we like can that. fish, you can mm -hmm. fish there, but then if you want to fish there, then you can't skate, you know, and it's just one thing after the other, after the other, it's just, you know, yeah. not a, and then we want this wilderness to grow up for the birds, but then we want to cut the wilderness because it gets in the way of the other uses. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, you know, it, you really know, a lack it. of long range planning there. Well, the, you know, the right. Time. So, like I said, eighty percent of the projects on there are recreation based, meaning they're going through the rec department. Yeah, the water fountain at the clay court was not really even on their radar. Yeah, sure. kind of. Yeah, just you know. Mm -hmm. But if it was something that could be utilized by a much larger segment of society, sure. yeah. um, it, then it would be kind of yeah, why not? Let's can we just move it over to here, even if it costs another thirty thousand dollars? Well, I mean, they're, I don't know. They're, they're going to run new pipe. They can run it anywhere. Yeah, well, well, you would, you would think, and this is where we were yeah. going. Like, okay, we got it. Yeah. So, are you giving them um, the uh, applicants advance notice of when the meeting is? <laughs> that is that is the plan. Okay. Um, the difficult part for us is that, like this board, you know, like uh, this commission, you know, we're sitting here. Okay, we need to have a meeting. We need to try to do this as soon as possible. Who can be? You know, so we're going around and yeah. around. Yeah. We spent. On a, your we, CPC. Yeah, we yeah. really went. We went over like an hour. We stayed way longer than we were supposed to because we we're trying to get it done, and then we're trying to plan the next meeting, and it's right before Christmas, and we're like, yeah, yeah, you can't really have a because even if we oh, could no. go, people are like, we're out of town that yeah. two days before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, so but it's going to be. A meeting next week. We are well. It's the fifteenth. So yeah, right. actually, because that is next week. Next yeah. week. Yeah. So, but that's only a Zoom meeting. Which I guess is kind of good, but it accommodates people that are either already traveling or whatever. So, mm. yeah. anyway, but the plan is to try to get through them all, and um, yeah. Is yours coming up? I, we have no yeah. notice. I haven't got notice. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a Christian thing, you know. Yeah. Um, so, what is the next step? The way we yeah. should be notified when they're gonna have the hearing or have the yeah presentations. Yeah. Yeah, and right, and so it would be, it would be, you know, and, and so this is a good point because some of the people showed up and they basically re-explained the whole project again, and you're like, yeah, we read it first of all. <laughs> As you know, if you ever done somebody who just has PowerPoint and they're reading the PowerPoint, like, yeah, we can all read. Yeah. Let's save a little time and. Right, so we're trying, we've never done this before, right? And also, the people have never done it before, and that's always going to be a perennial thing. Every time you do it, it's going to be like, I ain't never done it. Okay. Yeah. So it makes it take longer than you think. Yeah. And you yeah. Know, start late. Correct. Yeah. 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 So. so it is like, and how much yeah. can the public talk about each? Like, if, if there is constituency for your project. I, I mean, I think I think they're like it's like two minutes. That's kind of the, the rule Pretty of thumb. First. Yeah, yeah. Two, three minutes. Okay. That's kind of what we decided for for a, a norm. Send um, your materials ahead of time, and then give us two minutes on mm -hmm. top of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, so it's in order. Of what's it? On, it's on the uh, town website. I saw. Yeah, and then. Um, the next five meetings we're going to do reviews. Uh, we're going to have uh, 
public hearing before we vote in March, uh, before we, before like May is when the actual end is. So the plan is to, for, yeah, that's, that's kind of like our timeline that's been put together so far. Um, so right in the budget this season. Yeah. Um, so with the reviews are on the town website. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's kind of exciting. Yeah. So that's all I have on that. Um, new projects. Uh, does anybody have any new projects that they know about? Yeah, I got a couple things I want to bring up. Okay. So I think we ought to consider doing another uh, Miller Award. Oh yeah, so I think we need to consider you know uh, suggestions, and maybe I don't know how to do an application process, but if if only from within the board, uh, you know, uh, between the commission, looking for another uh, Miller Award for historical preservation. The first one that we did, we went to the garage. Uh, we we want to. I think we probably want to look for somebody who's doing some good work. In an individual building, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I'd like to look forward to see at some future year what happens to the recorder building, but that's that's not moving yet. But there must be other ones that people can bring up, and I think we ought to we ought to be considering among ourselves another another project. And so maybe mm -hmm. by the next meeting, people could bring suggestions for. For about my projects that might yeah. keeping it afloat. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I'm going mm -hmm. from one end to the other to keep the shingles up. Yeah, exactly. or, or the exactly shade, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's one thing I wanted to bring up. Right. Just if we could just people could Start just bring right. in yeah. bring yeah. in. Do you want to do you want to set a, that's a, really a target idea. date for announcing? We it? can do that so next, next uh, meeting. Just you know, what are you thinking? I'm just thinking early next year. We never said we never said it was going to be done on a certain basis of time. Okay, that's be that's my question. Yeah. So I, I think maybe it could be that the next meeting nobody would any, have anything that qualified, and we just say, okay, we'll look at it again in three months and see yeah. if something else comes up because we're not under any deadline for it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, mean, I remember when we first started talking about it. And, I mean, there were there were lots of projects. Yeah, there were lots of projects out there. Yeah. That, yeah. That should be recognized, right. I thought. Yeah. Um, so I feel like we've got a little bit of a backlog of anything. Yeah. Well, that's possible. Well, yeah. Bring some up bring the backlog again. Yeah. 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 Sure. Look over, look over, and see what uh, see what people have done. I mean, the the, the old mixer match uh, project is one that you know that's a zero uh, emission, mm -hmm. zero Allen Street School energy, the the school uh, school, and, sure. and you know there's some other ones that I'm sure Margo knows about that that might be you know. Like, might be uh, considered, but anyway, I thought I'd okay. throw that out there. Correct. Yeah, and so absolutely. Maybe people could bring in, sense. bring in yeah. stuff for the next one. <laughs> yeah, and try try to come up with something. And, <laughs> and Margo, we we're, what we're going to try really hard to do is find a project that doesn't have your name on it. Oh, thank uh, you. No, there's uh, plenty. No, <laughs> no offense, but there's I mean, plenty. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Are there um, like a set of guidelines uh, for like, that for these? Yes, there is. You want me to send you? I'd like okay. to see them. Why don't you send yeah, them out to the yes, I'll send them out. What I'll do is, why don't I do this? When I do the minutes, I'll send out a note uh, and uh, to everybody to ask them because there's people that aren't here. And I'll, I will resend the the basic uh, criteria documents, the criteria and the criteria and description of the award so everybody gets their memory refreshed. Right? Okay. So I can do that. Great. Thanks. The other thing I wanted to ask. Uh, uh, is uh, what is there any progress on that Eagle Scout project, the signage pro project? Is that anything? Well, you know, the fall semester has, has been really busy, and uh, you know, due to his course load, I think he's taken a little bit of a break on it. As far as okay. I, I, is that I, still in progress? You think it is still in progress, and okay, I'm, and I'm confident that that it will transpire at some point. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just so. wanted to see mm -hmm. see if that was still. Still well, ongoing. thank you for bringing it up, and I will I will reach out to him and see uh, where he's at with that. Yeah, I know it, it did connect him with the uh, uh, historic society. Um, you know, mm -hmm. and I gave him whatever input we had at the time. So, right. but yeah, it was kind of like back in the school. I'm like, well, 
Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's school what comes first. Student project. Yeah, yeah. And lastly, I wanted to bring up, a, a, make a report on the Battlefield mm. uh, Commission that I'm, oh, yeah. I'm a member of now. And mm -hmm. This is the Turner Falls uh, Battlefield uh, Commission and, and uh, group, whatever they call themselves. And, and what's going on with them is they, they've been working for nine years on this project. Uh, and basically what they're trying to do is they're working with the National Park Parks, and they're talking about getting a designation for the area where the falls fight took place, uh, at where the uh, Millers, and the, uh, not Millers, excuse me, the Falls, falls River and the, and, the, and the Connecticut come together in that area. Yeah. Uh, as you know, in 1676, there was a battle there where the English came up from Hadley and, and, uh, and attacked, uh, managed to ambush a bunch of uh, uh, natives who were fishing and, and doing their annual fishing. They, they would go there and fish and they'd dry the fish and give them food for the rest of the year. But there was a whole bunch of other activities going on. There was at least two blacksmiths who were operating there who had anvils and, and were casting shot, things yeah. like that. Yeah. And these English uh, managed to uh, ambush the bunch uh, and, and started you know, The blacksmiths shoot. were native? Yes. Oh. Yeah, they had native blacksmiths who were there and they were, they were fixing guns and they were casting shot yeah. and so forth. And, uh, and, and then a bunch of the men were up yeah. the river doing hunting and a bunch of the women and children and, and older people were busy drying fish and smoking fish and so forth. At any rate, this early morning they attacked. Uh, they had come up through Greenfield and, and spent the night, managed to successfully pull off an ambush, which is pretty rare. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, and they uh, started killing people and then they in turn uh, kind of got disorganized and tried to retreat. A retreat back to where they came from and they got split up and they sort of fled through this white oak swamp and up through Greenfield and were pursued and there was a series of skirmishes and fights. Captain Turner was killed uh, and some other, a lot of other people were caught and killed uh, and so there was this running battle that took place and went all the way up through Deerfield and so the, these battlefield guys have been doing archaeology Along the, uh, all over this area, they found uh, uh, there's a, what they call a musket ball trail, uh, where they use metal detectors to find a whole bunch of musket balls that goes all the way up from Greenfield. Mm. Uh, yeah. And uh, they got they did a, really a, mm. done a fantastic job so far, very professional uh, job. They they've had a, a team of archaeologists uh, working for them each season, uh, and uh, so their their progress right now is they. They're getting their last round of funding is supposed to be coming through. It hasn't come through yet. But once they get it, they're going to do a request for proposals for the archaeological archaeological firm to do another survey. I'm not sure what that consists of, uh, but they they figure the same outfit that's been doing it, which originally started off at the Massapequa uh, Museum, but now they're out of the University of Connecticut. Same group, but they changed headquarters. And they, they're thinking they'll probably get it. They'll probably submit request for these request for proposals. And they also have an operating uh, agreement with uh, four tribes, and th those each one sends a representative, and they're members of the of the group, members of the commission, come to meetings and so forth, and represent the, the uh, indigenous peoples. Uh, and, uh, and so that is. Uh, at this point, they're sort of on hold, waiting for this round of funding to come through from National Park Service. Uh, and I don't, I don't remember the exact total of how much money it is, but it's a, a chunk of money. And uh, then once they get that done, they're talking about, uh, the reason I ask about the Eagle Scout, they're talking about signage, they're talking about yeah. spots, they're talking about what to do with this information that they have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, at the very least, they'll have something at that uh, at that spot in the old, uh, the old uh, rod, rod, real uh, rod factory, mm -hmm. you know, Why did you ride Discovery there? Center. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, oh, Discovery oh, Center. Yeah. They'll have something there for sure. But yes. they also want to talk about doing other things, uh, and uh, and so it's a it's a pretty good group, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they've got some really active people that are working on it, uh, uh, and so I'm, I think it's I'm quite impressed by the whole thing. I had, they haven't gotten a lot of publicity. They've uh, 
They haven't done very well with that, actually, I think, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, so I'm making yeah. some suggestions with that because I don't think most people know what's going on. And they so don't it, know so the, it comes into Greenfield? Yes. Oh, yeah. So we have an opportunity to partner. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and that's yeah, why so, they right. sort of reached out to us, his, no pun intended, uh, historically they partnered with us a little bit, and it was a Peter Miller thing. Yeah. He was oh, a big right. guy in it. Right. Right. Back, four four right. historical it's, commissions are represented yeah. on the board. Oh, good. So I'm right. representing Greenfield, but we've got a guy from Northfield, a guy from Deerfield, a guy from... Oh. Uh, and so uh, each one of those historical commissions has a representative on, the, on this board as well. And one of the things that they're doing right now is there's this 300th anniversary, 300th anniversary of Northfield, and then, so they, they want to participate in that. Uh, and there's some discussions about exactly what's going to happen with regard to that. Mm -hmm. uh, all those, of course, all of these towns were affected very, very badly during King Philip's War. Uh, a couple of towns, Northfield and, and Green, uh, what's now Greenfield, were basically wiped out of people. There were nobody, they all left, they left, ran away from their safety because it was too dangerous to be here, uh, abandoned their crops and so forth. So, and it was a bloody black bullet. Bloody Brook massacre in right, Deerfield. That, right. that was the, them trying to harvest it is the fascinating stuff. crops. So a lot did of stuff you, was Did going. you say Lord Jeffrey Anderson was killed in Greenfield? No, no, no. Uh, Turner. Turner. Captain Turner. Captain Turner. Oh, Captain okay. Turner was yeah. the leader of the game of raid, a long life. And he was <laughs> killed. And then there's a couple of plaques that, that one out at the swim area and one at the at the uh, intersection yeah. where the White Bridge meets Route 2, Grady Gill. There's a, there's a Memorial mm -hmm. stone there, and that was actually that whole area belongs to PVMA, believe it or not. That plaque and the stone and everything was put there by PVMA, mm -hmm. and then the one down by the swim area was put there by the Greenfield Kiwanis, and then there's a historical state historical marker there as well. Yeah. But all of the language on those plaques is all about the you know, it doesn't actually say this, but it's basically about the savages and you know, the yeah, heroic yeah, English right. also. So obviously right. that, that they needs to have some supplemental information there. Or maybe be rewritten. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if you remember. PVMA's done that. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, but they haven't done it with Flack. Flack's still the old But the, You know, it, like you said, it, we talked about it in a couple ways besides the Eagle Project, but having like, you know, like a it, you know, a historical trail, uh, like some sort of, a, whether it's a bike trail or something like that, could be a self-guided tour. And it could be based on this, or it could be Greenfield sites, so just around town, mm -hmm. things like that. Those markers, of course, they were put in, I think, 1936 for the oh. 300th anniversary of the state. Huh. And there, there's a catalog of them, and there was a process of them go, they're going through them all. Oh, that's oh. right. Yeah, Yeah, because we years ago, hmm. um, we built some, um, some benches at a trail on Route 63 in Northfield. Right. And it was like on the side of the road, and you were like, and there was one of those plaques, and I was like, yeah. what the heck is that? And yeah. it was like that moment, I was like, no kidding, yeah. Yeah. here it is. Yeah. Um, well, so, the one at Gill says, uh, Captain William Turner of uh, Boston, a soldier in King Philip's War, was mortally wounded while opposing uh, this, uh, crossing this river, and fell on the west bank in uh, 1576 on the retreat after the falls fight at Tessiumska. Turner's Falls. 16. 16. It's all right. This is not that kind of... Yeah. 1676. Excuse me. 1676. Uh, it's hard to read. Forty men of his command fell that day. Captain Samuel Holyoke uh, the, uh, fought their way back to Hatfield. To commemorate their patriotism and sacrifice, this memorial is dedicated Blah, 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 the Pocumpic Valley Memorial. So, so it's basically, oh, yeah. it's all of that kind of stuff. Like mm -hmm. those, yeah. so. Well, obviously, <laughs> when they wrote it back then, you know, you know yeah. anyway. Well, and, 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 and to be fair, you know, this was King Philip's War. So, I mean, the, the losses that the New England colonists took in the King Philip's War were greater in proportion than any other war that this that was ever fought here. Uh, some sit, Some villages lost every... Every male resident was killed in that war. Uh, so I mean, it was a horrendous battle that went on all across all across this area, 
and uh, it was and it was an uprising basically against the, the colonists. So I mean, you say, well, that, you know, this Falls fight was just one battle of a series of battles that were sometimes from one side and sometimes from the other side. But you know, so to be fair, it, it was not it was not like these guys decided to go out one day and kill a bunch of you know. No, it was, no, it was a no, long, no. Oh, yeah. Long. What, was it 30 years or? No, no, it was about three years, three, four, three, oh, four okay. years, yeah, it went on. Yeah. And then he was killed in Rhode Island. Yeah, and then, and then what happened afterwards was there was a systematic uh, wiping out of villages and stuff by the by the triumphant colonists yeah. uh, after King Philip was killed. So, I mean, you know, that went on and people were sold into slavery and stuff, so it was right. a horrendous right. chapter in the yeah. history of it. Yeah. I need to read more about it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, some of the stuff is hard to read because it really was brutal. Yeah. Oh, on both sides, really brutal. So National Park Service is funding some of this. Yes. That's great. Yeah, very cool. And, and yeah. uh, Mass Historical is involved with it. And, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of people. Like a whole park. Well, it, I mean, it, it, if it got a battlefield designation, that wouldn't necessarily mean there was a park. Uh -huh. But it would mean it would be, it would be recognized as a, which mean it would limit to what you could do there. Uh -huh. As has happened in other battlefields, where they mm -hmm. wanted to build a condo in the middle of a, you know, a Civil War battlefield and, and right. that, that kind of stuff. Now, what exactly it would mean in concrete terms, I don't and know. Where what what pieces? Because yeah. yeah. that's a battlefield as a running battle over miles. Well, and, yeah. And, yeah, and if you look mm -hmm. at that at that now, it's, there's the ridge there, and then there's the route two goes through, and then there's the where the river comes in. Uh, to uh, the Connecticut and that that area that was the that was the central part, but then the, went up through and then it went into a White Oak Swamp, which is up uh, you know near uh, uh, where that shopping center is. But uh, stop and shop. Oh. Is that the old stop and shop. The old stop and shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, cherry, cherry rum. rum. Cherry rum. Yeah, right. Oh, it was okay. cherry rum was one of the main right. cherry rum was backyard in, in the apparently. in the running yeah. uh, in the running battle that took place. Uh, so yeah, yeah, up this ridge and then yeah. back down around. Yeah, what? but they, they split up. See, and so they were they were being pursued and they were stopping fighting. How many people were we talking about? Do you think? I don't remember. I think there must have been at least fifty soldiers, militiamen from from the you know, colonists. The colonists. Yeah. yeah, but on the other side, it was probably two or three hundred. Yeah, all so, together. So but, when did the smallpox blankets? Well, that's at that all started. That's at that all yeah. started. Archive? It didn't come up here. Mm -hmm. No. Like well, so. it start, Well, actually, the, when the first explorers came, uh -huh. they brought measles and smallpox and whatnot. And so when the colonists came, the villages were full of bones, uh -huh. yeah. which they saw as and and the number of people that died in that first series of epidemics is is highly disputed. Uh, the, the estimates of the pre pre settlement population of North America vary by a factor of over a hundred mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're from here to there mm -hmm. and nobody can agree on how many people were here before that and then how many died and how many were and so forth so it's it's a matter of very much contention yeah. as to what but but the, the, the epidemic started before any settlers came because uh -huh. when the settlers came they looked at it and they saw these empty villages well and, and like this area here was Pretty much abandoned, hmm. and so they're like, "Oh, God gave us to us." Yeah. You're, so you're, wait, you're saying that like that the natives had died before we what the the before, colonists got here before the colonists got here. They had already there was like European traders or, or ship. No, sure, they had come it was, before it was, that. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they've been making trips here for over a hundred right. years before okay. the so, those colonists. But still, from your yeah. European, yeah. yeah. From the diseases, and of course the diseases were because the Europeans lived with their animals, and these guys did not. And so yeah. those those are animal diseases. And so everybody had all the Europeans had resistance. Yeah, right. And so when they first got exposed to measles and stuff like that, it just wiped them out. They just yeah. didn't have they had no natural resistance to them. And so, uh, but anyway, it's really an interesting group, and, and I'm really uh, having a great time. I Can just you mostly get somebody sit. recorder to write a story about it? Well, I've talked to these guys about it, but it's really in their hands. It's not really, yeah. I mean, I kind of made some suggestions, but they, be, how often do you meet? Every month. Every month. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Turner's Falls in the Montague town. And uh, what is the uh, projected like culmination of this? Like, so we're there's is there is there an end or does it is it the song that never well, this is the final up? round of funding yeah. so once they get there's another archaeological dig to be done uh and that result and i'm not as again i said i, I don't know what that's going to be concentrating on i know they did the musket ball thing and they've done a bunch of artifacts and done a bunch of other stuff uh you know one of the things by the way that happened with the the, the column when the uh, militia guys uh took lead Slug, big chunks of lead that they found that were being melted into the muscle and threw them in the river. See, so then, then, then those apparently got fished out of the river and taken away again. So, <laughs> so, and the and you know, the, like the anvil got thrown in the river and they got pulled out. So, uh, you know, it's hard to there's hard to, there's not a lot of stuff left. Uh, is there even access to that area? I can't even imagine how you get and, uh, down in yeah. It's it was so it was so broken up in bad country that that it was really a series of like two and three people on each side skirmishes that went on for the next day yeah. or day and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah horses. Whose whose property is, is like where the Fall River comes out? Yeah. Fall that's around? that's federal property. So that, like what used to be Mac and Sand Pit. You know like well, well that's with that's yeah that, that at the, the very end it's probably like lodge tire is right right, right. and yeah. you keep on going all the way to the end of french king highway and, yeah. and it loops around there's yeah. that point that sticks out yeah so like kind of up above factory yeah. hollow yeah. there that belongs to uh fish and game or somebody some i mean i've been out there and it says yeah it says federal property yeah fish and wildlife service right. uh, mm. sanctuary no mm. no trespassing no trespassing, no trespassing. And then, so my understanding is that that land was given to the tribes yeah. and if you go if you go to the intersection like you're going to like almost you know the, the four-way like deep fog level industrial park and you start going down the hill towards factory hollow and you look very quickly to your right you'll see a driveway with yeah. a gate right yeah right mm -hmm. and that is that is the like a tribal access area that's the old mac and sand pit which is the old mac and sand yeah. Pit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah and then but the ridge going, going on to the ridge that overlooks the connecticut right up to the top of that ridge that's all federal property yeah. as well yeah. I mean, that would make a good park. It is it super nice. It would be there. great. And, yeah. and uh, when I was doing my trail system on the on the side of Greenfield, I went out to the end of that point and I thought this would be a great because you have an over if you cut some trees, you have the overlook over the river it's and phenomenal. the dam and everything Ooh, else. And so that cool. property from the top of the ridge down to the river belongs to the power company. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's all power it's company. Awesome. But it's it's like kind of untraversable. Like it's way yeah, big. very steep. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, there is you know so there is a trail there is a trail there and you know I found it because if you follow the, the trail out of town the, yeah the Ridge Trail so like behind Stop and Shop and you kind sure. of go there and then you're like oh it, there's more here yeah mm -hmm. but it's then you run into the signs yeah, yeah, yeah. then you run into the signs yeah, I, when when I was going out there the signs weren't there that was before the list of the purchase mm -hmm. anyway yeah. that's a, it's true it's a huge area that could yeah. be anyway you know, so it's an exciting project that's going on right here in our backyard yeah. and, Good to know. and it, literally in some people's backyard and uh it, it's you know uh, it, it, i'm not sure what the culmination is going to be there's going to be a report uh there's going to be some signage uh, proposed but but beyond that i don't know this goes all this says it goes all the way to the next day after the attack that's right uh that's right native american warriors later attacked the colonists settlement in Hat hatfield in retaliation yeah yeah so that yeah there was a counterattack in hatfield yeah and there was a lot of people i mean people were you know tied to trees and burned alive in white oaks farm mm -hmm. uh that was that was going on you know, all the time it was brutal brutal brutal, brutal. It was really really bad yeah uh, yeah the uh, the contemporary account is uh, Selden's uh, History of Deerfield. Oh, yeah. It talks of, he's got a whole chapter, two chapters about the, about the battle, about yeah. his fight. And of course, it's all from, from the English side. But, yeah. 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 Okay. So I just wanted to bring that up to everybody's attention. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, thank you for attending. Anything else with that? Yeah. Any other? All set. Uh, all right. Uh, we don't, it's no no action required from us, but I just thought we should know about no, it. For right, no, it, it's, we said it's been ongoing, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's great. Maybe something that we could share uh, when we do our whatever classic day thing, mm. oh, yeah. Yeah. Days, whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah.
yeah. it'd be a great time to bring that around. And, yeah. 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 This kind of dovetail, like right? this is, yeah. it's, you know, the, it's December, uh, that's in the summer, you know, what is it in the fall? And um, yeah. so we could, you know, get ourselves like a tablecloth and, you know, something yeah. kind of, you know, bring some of that. Maybe somebody from that committee could, well, could be there. I, I mean, there are, well, there are well, artifacts. It's a very limited audience. <laughs> well. True. Are you yeah. talking about the one we did? Yes. Yeah. I would just yeah. saying. <laughs> vintage yeah. days. Yeah. Vintage uh -huh. days. Yeah. yeah. I I like the idea of the trolley tour. I think. Yeah. The trolley tour is really. I think we really need to work hard next yeah. year to get the trolley tour going. Absolutely. Absolutely. Independent and, of anything. And and yeah. independent of anything. Just, just do as it a once thing. a week. Because it used sad. to be. It was a thing. Yeah. And um. And yeah. did, was that you that was? I did it. Tours? Peter Miller did it. And, yeah. Uh, and different people did it but it was it was every time they had an event they would have the trolley tour mm -hmm. right and, right. and just ride around and, it, and people could get on and off it's at just different a, places because it would stop mm -hmm. at awesome. your guys museum would stop at the historical society would stop at different places and, yeah you know, again we but, would add these some of these points absolutely that, right? yeah. Yeah. we should talk to Rachel because yeah. there are yeah. a lot of events that that's right. Well, this festival. was the first go around, I think, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Right. But maybe we could get funding. She's got funding for vintage shoes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, like, I think, I think that's all. Cool. I mean, as, as far as the tour is concerned, the only thing is renting the trolley, which the town ought to do, really. Mm -hmm. And then everything else is volunteer. You yeah. just need people to man it. That's all. And well, figure some figure out the route. And yeah, a little bit like that. Put yeah, some it, signs up. But it would not yeah. a big expense. Yeah. Gee, we could apply for CPC funding yeah. next year. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. There you go. If somebody wants to lead uh, the charge. Yeah. yeah right. Uh, okay. So what else? So I've got some. Uh, there's some demolitions. Um, Southern Avenue. These are like garages and little bit detached garages, dilapidated. Columbus Avenue, La Petite Cafe, the little cafe there. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. They finally, yeah, they, they were using it as an office or something. Yeah. I get it, it must be gone now, right? Yeah. I, oh, is I, it? I don't go oh, downtown yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, have to look. yesterday. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then. Um, that went by you? I mean, it, it was well, historic. <laughs> well, they, no, they <laughs> just give us all, everything now. Oh, they give us everything, everything now. So everything. we just get a chance yeah. to sort it out. And, oh. right. It, but. We're the last ones, um, but we're also the last ones. Right. So, so I have a firm belief that there were that the people who were uh, before us, like the demolishers and whatnot, have known about it in advance. And they'll they'll I'll get an email on like Thursday afternoon, uh -huh. saying that they're. We're the last ones, and we're waiting on you. And I'm like, oh, okay, because I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I, you know, so like I'm not like just sitting here waiting for somebody to like press activate and then I go, and then and then you know, anyway. so sometimes it kind of it has a a little bit of a a little impatient tone that like, oh, we should be on top of this. Like, well, first of all, like you know, well, sometimes the, the, impatient, the inspector. Well, well, where's the well, point it could, that it, it should be getting to you? Yeah. Up front. Well, we should we I mean, should get it as soon as everybody else gets it. As soon as yeah. they well, apply Well, then that, that, that needs to be put into the process. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, we've tried. The people are get it. Well, we tried because it should start at the at the, as soon as, at the yeah. building inspector's right. department. Right. As soon as he right. gets the application, yeah. you got to get a copy of that application. In. Right. So we've tried to get that. We just well, haven't. Because I don't like yeah. so like try that case is going to be the last one. The last one I'll mention was Elm Street. So many, they bought a house and there's a barn and a demolished <clears> barn right next to the jail, just yeah. just just north of the jail yeah. on the left. Right. And that kind of a nice farm, but pretty dilapidated anyway, yeah. um, and not historic. Uh, but to the point where like the, the the guy who bought the building called called me and left me a message like he tracked me down and I was like on a weekend and I was like oh sorry dude like I I got it Thursday night uh, yeah. you know like after work hours and I signed off on it but you know nothing happens on the weekend now yeah. but i didn't but it, 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 it's not a big deal i called him and i just no i think it's it's fine i mean i'll, I'll reach out to Tomorrow. vicky baker Tomorrow. yeah okay. she's the one who, who contacts me you yeah. should get it when they get it. Well, that's yeah. what i mean because i don't I, I don't want to feel bad like the guy's like waiting oh, for me i was no. like sorry dude and he didn't no. he didn't really know who but i was not only that but if we wanted to 
get yeah, more information. Yeah, it puts you in, in a terrible to, spot. Too late. Right. Yes, I don't terrible I, spot. I, I, it also, it so also puts you in a situation where you almost always have to go out yeah. as the only person there, and you yeah. really should be bringing somebody else from the board there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel that's important. I don't yeah. I don't think one person should be doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Terry used to do it with so, Yeah, we, were, um, we would both do it, and it was kind of like we would sort of tag team, where we yeah. would go, both go, or... Yeah. And on a few occasions, and I think most of the time, like th these are dilapidated barns. Like there's there's no yeah. there's no nothing here. But a few occasions, remember that house that was out on Leiden Road? Yeah. yeah. And it was kind of old and kind of historic. It was kind of you know something worth looking at. And so I reached out to you guys and said, well, you know. Um, but anyway, so. I understand the rug manufacturing building is yeah. going to be demoed. So is that popped up? On yeah, we, we talked We already about that. did that. Well, yeah, we that talked about well, they're supposed to yeah. tell, come back to us. Right. Correct. And uh, it's been pretty quiet. No application for okay. I think they. Well, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> but I could get an email <laughs> that's saying, yeah, yeah. And that place was, was so renovated uh, so many times. Change so many. But there's some features on it. Yeah. Kind of oh, it's it's, it's not a lot. It's there. It, it's historically significant based upon what they did oh, there. Right. right. But the yeah. building itself and the building is right. is what is it? has a character and all that right. stuff. You know, I, I, we, all, we all we all love it. I would I would renovate it. Into right, and money. you know, the guy probably bought it for not very much money, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I can't save all the puppies. No. I just can't, man. So I think we ought to all get together, raise some money, and. Buy you a stamp, a big stamp, <laughs> a rubber stamp. Yes. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if I like where you're going. You just, <laughs> just keep that in the glove box of your car. Just... That's right. No, that's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, and it's you know, like with that project, you know, Jim, it's like this, he's. It's there's kind of a need. I hate to say there's kind of a need for storage places. The place is dilapidated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot of other issues that we may not see it in that perspective. Right. But bringing income, you know, there's all these other things. It's like, yeah, tax. We, well, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And that's just forced to sitting there not producing any tax. Right. You know, when we did, we did discuss the guy. You know, with him, and he was pretty. You know, like about he actually wanted to potentially rehab it or reuse it, yeah. but because it's been put together, it's not like a big. Like some of these factor buildings are just like a shell. Oh no, they just tacked you know on you go there, and you, yeah, it's been yeah. tacked on every which way. It's got like the house of forty thousand gables, man. Yeah, it's like you can't yeah. imagine just putting a roof on it. What, what are the chances of, of of keeping some of the architectural features of the building? Well, the whole place is going to be raised. Yeah, I'm sure if you talk to the guy, he'd let you like the keep. The thing is, you wouldn't have any place to put them. I mean, that that's the other problem. Right. Yeah. Peter used Sorry. to go out yeah. and and he would take pieces of. Buildings yeah. that were being torn and down. he kind of got me into that, and he'd bring them back to the historical society, and I'd go to I'd go down there, and they'd be in the floor, they'd be yeah. on the floor of the kitchen. Right. It's like a big cornice or something. Like that. It's just <laughs> it's not really what we what do. What am I supposed to do with this? You know? No, I, I mean I have I mean I I noticed there's a couple of um, skylight units yeah. on there, like smaller ones. Yeah. That I I could I could use one of them on that building. Yeah. Well, I mean I, I can definitely. You I'll, put, I'll put you in touch. A flat roof. Yeah, I've got to redo. Yeah. That's going to be kind of maybe the extension of the blacksmithing. And so, yep. I thought, yeah, that something like that. But I mean, what are what kind of hoops you have to go through? No, no, I don't think there's any I think that's private owner. Yeah. No, it's just between you and the guy that bought it. Oh, right? Private owner. Yeah, yeah. I think he'd be happy to. He, he'd be happy to do that. Yeah, absolutely. I think he totally would. And, and um, yeah, one of the yeah. Piece, one of the pieces Peter brought. To the society was the, the old school. There was an old school over, I think, where the location was. But when they built it, they, the gables, uh, they instead of building it the way you, anybody else would build it, they took pieces of lumber that were maybe six inches wide and an inch and a half thick, and they stacked them up on top of each other and just nailed them together, mm -hmm. and then and then cut them to form the top of the gable yeah so it was like this huge chunk of wood yeah you yeah. know it was it was like whoever builds like well, that you know and then he brought that thing to the society and, and oh, i came no. in and yeah, it was sitting on the floor it's like this thing weighs like 200 pounds what you, right, what right. and it's, it's it sucks well when they when they tore down the school here 
this school, yeah. at this location, yeah. we all went. Some of us went. We yeah. toured it. We took pictures. And yeah. I went and I and I did salvage some stuff out of there. I have some. I have the banister. I have like yeah. some railing posts, yeah. and they're all and they're, they're rubbed with the, the hands of ten thousand children. You know, it's it's, <laughs> it's a it's a beautiful artifact in my opinion. Sure. Um, yeah. You're but finally, architecture. They're like little architectural. You can find my fingerprints. I did, I haven't checked. I don't have a, I don't have a black. I went there when I tore down. Yeah, show yeah. some something. Did you yeah. carve your initial? When I yeah. tore down GTD's plant one. Oh yeah. Grabbed the doors. Yeah. Set of these swinging doors that went into the office. Yeah. And I've had them sitting around for like. Let me see. Since yeah. then. And uh, we just put them in the up in the oh, middle yeah. as a partition between. Nice. The uh, um, super cool. You remember the, the, the restaurant? Got the yeah. chicken wire uh, yes. and the window and glass. The uh, doors from what was it called? Uh, the doors from Wilson's uh, from the American they went Hotel. To the we got the doors out of the hotel. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, the one over where the veterans veterans. Uh, yeah, down by the table. What was that called? What was the restaurant that was over Herms. by yeah. Herms? Herms. 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 Yes. Herms had a lot of artifacts. They had a lot of yeah. Yeah. Well, the paneling. Yeah. The yeah. paneling were the doors from yeah. the, the, the old American House Hotel. Yeah. Oh. He get, got the doors and put them up on the wall and made mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and made anyway paneling. Out of it. Well, it's it, you know I have a ton of stuff like that and it's like well you know. Yeah. We need well, the Riddell Street. Riddell Street. Yeah. yeah. There's, been, that, there's been no word on that. There's been no word on a lot of stuff. Things are quiet. You know, we haven't heard anything about well, the Porter building. We haven't heard anything. I mean, the, the Wilsons. Nothing back on the library. No, no. Uh, the Wilsons uh, building. I mean, obviously, we all saw that in the paper. Yeah. Are they going to take the facade off? It looks like it in the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's, that's basic brick and uh, granite. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. What was that? The, the 50s? That, that facade? Yeah. 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 I guess they were not that cool. The fifties were not that cool. The facades yeah, going down. Right. It's more like, well, I mean, I, to me, it's more. I I like the facade because I think it's well because because we're not we're not we're not static. Life is not right. static. Town right. is not static. Yeah, but look what they did to the look what they did to the, the, did the town hall, right? <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Right, so we you, know. you've seen pictures of the town hall, yeah. Oh, yeah, and it was renovated, and, and the way it looks now is like a fictitious, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, and I'm not saying yeah. I don't like no. it, but I'm saying pseudo what we yeah. right. what we perceive to be uh, historical purity or whatever yeah. is like not a thing. Yeah, it's yeah. just not a thing. Yeah, and I know that they're probably going to take it down because you know, it's it looks that's, to be. that's over. It totally is. Mass historic might be against it. And and I would and I would I would it would be it's gonna be coming up to us eventually. Yeah. And, and right. I would say that the facade at Wilson's is one of the most memorable, like iconic things in this town. It's definitely in the top ten. Besides you, besides oh, there, there are 60, 70 years. It's, yeah. It's really beautiful. I'm sure. Well, it, and, is and it though? It's for, just like all those other brick buildings. Need bricks and bricks and bricks. They're all that's, brick. That, that is the problem. There's no <laughs> is, is, it, is it really does cover up all the windows on the upper floors. Right. Well, remember so Rudy's turned that into right. a useful yeah. space. No, I, I do Rudy remember the same way. I, remember that. I just totally do. And they took that she, so, so, so is there, is Margo, is there a middle ground or is there any way to narrow? Right. <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Well, that's what I mean. It's it's going to come up, and it's very easy to say, "Yeah, tear tear yeah. it down, yeah, tear it down." But look at Swift clean Cleaners. They like they just cut that thing off and threw it out. It was like a that's pretty cool neon sold. sign. Oh, you mean the rocket ship? Yes, they sold it to they somebody. Sold. Yeah. Right, they sold it to some guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. So yeah, I mean they're putting a lot of units in. I don't know. 200 or two fifty, whatever it was, a lot. Of I mean, is there is units, there so. Upstairs, they're going to be green. Those. Yeah, they're really but is but is there is there sixty five a way to to, to keep part of it? Uh, just sixty five. Just sixty five. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's right. That's right. Or do we find ourselves individual now units. going? What about the bank on the corner that's covered in like gravel? Whatever that thing is. Uh, uh, I don't like the way that looks. Yeah, yeah, Let's go back and that's one of the ugliest buildings, buildings in Greenfield. <laughs> my former boss. Somebody likes it. <laughs> my former boss Al Hutchison was a publisher of the Recorder. To this, excuse the expression, we call that the Moorish whorehouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like it's like falls or something similar. Yeah. Gravel on it that keep falling off on the sidewalk. Yeah. 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 And we talked about my Greenfield. Oh yeah. You know, on oh, front yeah. page news when she said, "Oh, look what happens in these." Oh yeah, she she really right. right. Provincial towns where oh. they cover over gra granite uh, mm -hmm. Gothic style. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Buildings. But again, it the town. You, know, you look at the town hall. You look at whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I but think it's an interesting. Before they had the wooden colonnade building with colonnades on the front of it that was right on Main Street. It was a grocery store downtown, and right, you yeah. know, and that was clad a photographer upstairs, and it was this classic thing, and it's gone. It's just, you know, built brick. So yeah. now the brick is covered, and so now the brick is the thing you want to preserve. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. To, exactly. I mean, to me, if I look at right. it, you know, exactly. I think what, right. brick. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, really, you know. Well. Right. So. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think that's all I have. Um, um, housekeeping, um, have any appointments that needed to be done get done? Are you aware? I see uh, Bob's term came up. and um, Not that I They know. don't bring you in that loop on that. Well, I, not that sure? I've heard of. Okay. No, not we, that I've heard we of. Need to, we need to look into that because they could, they could easily go by with no notice at town hall. Yeah. yeah, that's been done. Many times Many before. Times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, no are, are you re-upped? Uh, I believe I did. Okay. So because I, I, I will find out. Um, easy enough for me to send an email yeah. and find out. This, I mean, this is like old. It's not like a document. Oh, I, 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 yeah, right. Yeah. I understood yeah. that might not be. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't know if that's out of date. So, well, if that's well, out of date, then, he, then Doug is a year out. Oh, I can look at the website. He, he, so you're up. You did update. You up. We up. Uh, I believe so. I, well, I mean, I. Um, I re upped for the uh, disability commit uh, commission. Yeah, you're. They said you're re upped on there. Oh, so that puts you out to 2024, Doug. Yeah. What? Puts you out to 2024. Yeah. Yeah. And Bob's not re upped. So we may need to chase down Bob. All right. Well, I will. Um, I'll send him an email. Do we know if Athena actually submitted the survey application? Nope, I haven't heard anything about that either. That was due November 30th. <laughs> uh, oops. Oops. I can't remember the Do you book? think she needed reminding because she's on top of things? But she should have copied you when she said it. I haven't heard from huh. So that's another thing to check on. Yes. Ah. We don't want that to go by. Do you want me to check on it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah if, if you don't mind. Check. Nope. Uh, I'll email. My secretary will email. Ah. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> for you, kiddo. <laughs> All right. Can you do that tomorrow? <laughs> so, well. Not, not without a pay raise, she says. <laughs> no, these are cookies. cookies. Yeah, right. That's, that cookies. is the best. Uh, I would demand my pay in cookies. Oh, yeah. she, she helped make oh, cookies. That, that look, oh, that, no, that look about the pay raise. Or, boy, you made the look. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I don't, I don't have anything else, you guys. Uh, okay. I think we'll just motion to adjourn. Right. Second. Second. All in favor? Hi. Uh, move. Adjourn. Six. Thank you. Oh, Thank you all. Four. Okay. This is wow. the fourth button. meeting I've done today. Full and Oh. Yeah, it's start, starting at 8 o'clock this oh morning. Oh my God. Isn't it fun? Uh, huh? Isn't it great? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really a big fan. Do you, do you dream Robert's Rules of Order? Uh, <laughs> I do. Uh, on Zoom? <laughs> oh, the CBC, I mean, it was just, you know, we're there and everything, you know, we're all, we're just like, Look, we need to get through this stuff and try to plan this meeting. We're like, oh, we're going back and forth and back. Yeah. I was like, you guys, I, I was like, well, we're missing two people anyways.